Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and today I just want to give you some tips on how to use Plane Maker in X-Plane 10. This is a program that allows you to modify your instrument panel and it does a lot of other things. You can actually make your own airplane with Plane Maker uh, but here I just want to show you how you can open some of your airplanes. Not all airplanes have a 2D panel that you can modify, but if they do, then it can be modified. So what you have here is a, a list of instruments that are already on your panel, such as this VOR indicator here. It has a list of instruments that you can put on your panel and these are all drop down buttons we'll get into that it has a preview of what instrument you have selected over here it has a description of the instrument you want to put on your panel it has the properties for that instrument and then we have our workspace where we do all the work so that's a quick overview on the interface also, there's one more page. This is the view page. And here you can change the tail number that's displayed on the instrument panel. And here you can change your viewpoint. This is really, really handy. So let's go ahead and dive into the program. So this is the opening page. And we want to open up our airplane we're going to work on. So we go to File, Open. And we're going to select an airplane. Now, this is very important. Before you do this, go to Windows Explorer or whatever you're using. Go to your X-Plane root directory. Find the aircraft folder. Click on the aircraft folder. Find the airplane that you want to work on or change. Right click, do a copy and then paste it in another folder. I have a folder called Play With. I stick it in here and now I open that airplane to make changes with. I don't want to mess with the original. If I make a mistake and don't know how to get back, I've lost the airplane. So I'm going to open up the airplane in my Play With folder and this is an airplane that I did some modifications for for a tutorial. So we're going to open the aircraft and here it is. And now to get to the instrument panel, we go to Standards, Panel 2D. And this will open up the panel program. And you'll notice it's down here. Sometimes you won't see anything. Right click any old place and you can drag the panel up and move it around. When you open the panel up, one of the first things you might want to do is click on this little button up here that looks like a panel and it will make the panel disappear. And you can see what is actually on the panel already. These are images that are on the panel ping. So you can't change those. You can't modify those. They are painted on the panel. So this will show you the instruments that you can change. Now, you don't have to replace things. You can just move anything you want around. We click on the GPS. We don't like the GPS here, so let's just move it up here. And let's just highlight these two comm radios. Let's slide them down here. And then let's put our GPS right here. Well, that didn't quite work, so let's just click on the radio. We can use the up and down arrows to lower it down a little bit to make the GPS fit in there. There we go. That's close enough. So you can move instruments around, you can delete them. You can see here, this is a really crazy thing. This is an elevator indicator, or I used this in a tutorial. Uh, so I don't want that there anymore. That's kind of crazy. So we can come up here and we can cut that. And let's just put what was there in the first place, a VOR. This over here says it's a VOR number 2, or VOR 2 OBS. So 
obviously VOR1 for NAV1 is missing. That's what I replaced. So let's go ahead and find that. So let's go over here and we'll go to NAV displays. These are all the available instruments. And here we have VORs. And here we have VOR1 OBS ping. Let's take a look at that. Ah, that's the same one. And it tells us down here this is a VOR and OBS or Omni Bearing Select Switch to NAV1. Well, that's exactly what we want. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to drag it over here. And you'll find when you move it around, you're going to get these lines that help you line it up. So you can see the blue lines there going horizontally and vertically. So we've got it lined up perfectly. We can let go, click somewhere else. And now we have the NAV1 VOR indicator in place. We can click on it and use the up and down arrows if we don't like the position it was in. And we can use the left and right arrows to position it where we want. This is actually pretty simple and it's a lot of fun. I find this most helpful uh, for getting switches and buttons up to a place where I don't have to scroll to see them. Like I've moved the heading and the localizer and the altitude vertical speed and the auto throttle up here. So I would move my lights over here where I can change the instrument panel lights and the cabin lights. I don't have to go over here to change that. Well, you get the idea. Put things where you want them so you can see them without having to scroll. That's really pretty nice. Another thing I find, though, I got to tell you, this is very frustrating. I have a very hard time finding the instruments that I want. When I want to put something on here, I find myself going through here, looking, searching, searching. I don't know what the names are. That can be quite frustrating. So what I have done is, let's just say, I, I actually did a video on how to put this uh, tail number indicator here. Open up another airplane and copy it. You can go up here to these buttons here. It'll highlight. You hold the mouse over the button. It'll tell you what it is. It says copy selected instrument to keyboard. So I can copy that. I can open up another airplane and I can paste it on the panel. So let's do that. We're going to hit the copy button. I probably already did that. But now we're going to go over here and we're going to go file open. And it asks us, do we want to save? And yep, we want to save it. Now let's pick another airplane. How about this Cessna 208? Let's open up this guy. And we'll go to Standards, 2D Panel. Now we're going to right click right down here and click the Paste button. And there it is. Now we've added that to that panel. So you can copy. Um, instruments from one airplane and drop them on to another. So that's pretty darn cool. And sometimes will save you a lot of trouble trying to find the instrument you're looking for over here on the left side. So that's it for adding instruments to your panel or just moving them around. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. If you click on an instrument You'll notice down here at the bottom, it'll give you the coordinates of that instrument and the size. You can click on the size and hit enter, and you can increase the size of the instrument. You can also decrease the size of the instrument. So that can be useful when you're trying to match up instruments on an airplane and maybe they're not using the same size. Anyway. Let's continue. Now let's take a look at the Viewpoint page. We go to Standards, Viewpoint, and this is where, again, you can change your tail number. That's displayed on the instrument panel. Now, however, it's not going to change the number on the outside of your airplane. That's part of the livery, the paint job, and that is a whole lot more involved. But what I really want to show you is these three values right here. We have the long arm pilots, the lateral arm pilots, and the vertical arm pilots. And by changing these numbers, 
you can change your view out the window. So you're sitting in the pilot seat. If you move these numbers around, you'll move your eyes up or down or left or right or backwards and forwards. And the best way to show you this is I'm going to go ahead and change these numbers. And I want you to see how changing these numbers can give you a better view out of your airplane. Now, one thing that's really important to know, these numbers are specific for this airplane. This is the Cessna 208B. The airplane you might be working on will have totally different numbers. These numbers are in reference to a reference point on the airplane. They are in feet from a reference point. And I believe on this airplane, just by playing with these numbers, it's the nose of the airplane that is the reference point. Anyway, let me just show you what that looks like. So here are the effects of changing the viewpoint. And we're going to start with the default view. So what I did is I changed the lateral numbers. And I changed them radically. The first number is 10.6 and I changed it to 20.6 and it looks like this. As you can see our viewpoint or our eyes went up to all the way to the back of the airplane. Next I changed it to 0.6 and whoo it took us out on the nose of the airplane. I actually had to turn around to see the airplane so it moved our eyes so far forward we're at the nose of the airplane. The next one I changed was the lateral arm. And it is normally a minus 0.7. But I changed that to 1. And as you can see, it moved us way over on the right side. Then I moved it to a, another negative number, minus 1.7. And it moved us way over on the left side. So using the lateral arm, we change that number and it'll move us sideways. Next, I changed the vertical arm. And it was normally 1.9, but I made it 0.9. And as you can see, we dropped down in our seat. And then I changed it to 2, I believe. And now we're up in the ceiling. So the vertical arm moves us up and down. The lateral arm moves us sideways and the long arm moves us forward and back. So you can play with those numbers and you can position your eyes in a place you want it to be. I particularly on this airplane would like to move it over here a little bit because here is the yoke so I want my eyes to be looking right over that because that's where you're normally looking in the pilot seat. So that's how you can change your viewpoint and you may find that quite handy. So that's it for my little tutorial on Plane Maker, some tips on Plane Maker. Remember, always work on a backup copy, not the original. And you're just going to have fun playing around. Move your instruments around, put in new instruments, delete instruments. Move your viewpoint around to get the proper look, the look that you want. Just have some fun. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of this. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment or send me a message, ask a question, that would be great. Thank you again for watching. And God bless.